my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I know that everyone is doing great and we give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Today's video is Pastor David Ibiomie of Salvation Ministry, River State, Port Harcourt. That is, you know, sharing, I can say, is a testimony or a story of his encounter with Pastor E.A. Adeboye of RCCG. And he said something that really made me to think twice. Okay, because whether you know it or not, people are watching you. And now if people are watching you, how much more God? I want you to listen to him and hear what he said concerning Pastor E.A. Adeboye. And I will come back with the rest of my thoughts on this subject. Great man of God called... E. A. Adeboy, Enoch Adeboy, made a very profound, is one of the meekest men on earth. That man is meek. Meek. When I say what? Meek. He called me this year, about three months ago, and I was on phone. He said, sir, I say, your grandson. I knelt down to answer him. There are people I kneel down to answer, not pride. They don't need to see me. When I'm talking to them, I kneel down. Because if I was before them, wouldn't I kneel down? I'd just be standing like this to talk to them when they are praying for me. He was praying for me, so I didn't have to stand because I know that he was praying for me. But on the phone, he was calling me, sir. It's me that was saying, no, sir, it's your grandson. <laughs> I was the one who did the thing. That man is... He will, he will go to his office will use two hands to want to shake you. It's you that will be afraid and take, one hand, and take your two hands. He will call you, sir, from the gate. He said, welcome, sir. Two hands, oh. To shake you. Shake who now? <laughs> that man is the man pastoring the largest Pentecostal church on earth. Today. No church on earth is as big as redeemed globally. He's a man. Yet, he will say, Daddy say, he will be moving as if it, ah, very simple. Very what? You meet him, he will take two hands. Two hands. It's you that will say, hey, I know we'll die quick. <laughs> but if you see some people with 200 people, 200 pass, 200, they will move like this. You will say, we don't enter them. Go move with your shoulder like this. Say, how are you? <laughs> you know, God is so good. God is so good. 200 people, oh, God is so good. Glory to God. Somebody shout here. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful people of God. Do you hear what he said? He said that he has not seen a meek man like Pastor E.A. Adeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I know that many people will have contrary opinion, which is fine. But this pastor is talking based on his personal encounter with this man of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Now, my take here is this. In your interactions with people, in your communication with people, in all you do on your day-to-day -day activity, what is the testimony that people can give about you? You see, because in the mouth of two or three witnesses, the truth is established. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 1, it said, good name, good name is better than wealth and riches. Good name. I can't but agree with what this pastor is saying concerning Pastor Enoch Adejare Adeboye. Because this is a man that has been in the ministry for years. There is nothing he cannot see. Don't think that he is immune. We are talking about him today because of his age. Because as far as I am concerned, he is rounding up. He has fulfilled his destiny. He's just 
now, you know, crossing the T's and dotting his I's as far as ministry is concerned. He will soon leave the same. But what can people say about you, child of God? Because we are in the time where people say, no, just listen to the message and don't mind the messenger. And I tell them that both the messenger and the message is equally important. So my people, this really touched me. And I, because I have this to say about it, that's why I'm sharing this video with you. I know that you too, you'll be blessed by what this man has just said about this Pastor E.A. Adeboye that has worked the work of ministry for years without scandal of any form. He is not immune, but he is a man that received special grace. And not because God just, uh, you know, set him aside to give him that grace. He paid the price. So I pray that God Almighty will help you to help me also so that whatever we do, we should remember that what we will leave behind is our name. Can someone say that yes, you truly loved God? Can someone say that you are a humble man? Can someone say that you are a true ambassador of Christ? I want to leave it there and I will see you in my next one. Please Remain blessed. Give this video a like and share it. And subscribe to support what we are doing here. And God Almighty will bless you.